welcome back to the second half of Faded World's Lady Blackbird. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> wherein uh, many a sandwich will be eaten. Mm-hmm. Is that or stolen? Or both? Yes, yes. Having a euphemism. Or stolen <laughs> so they can then be eaten. Mm-hmm. Indeed. Or eaten and then stolen. It's a, it's a rough life for sandwiches out there. <laughs> <laughs> So, Never will uh, there be mustard like that again. Never. <laughs> we have to muster all our courage. There's two things you can do with a sandwich. Eat it or steal it. <laughs> Sounds like a good laces of feeling sack. <laughs> eat the sandwich or steal the sandwich. <laughs> two options. You're, you can't steal your sandwich and eat it. Mm-hmm. No, no, just everything, anything you can all either eat or steal. Mm. Oh, all right. Okay, let's get back into the game. <laughs> <laughs> so I think we we pick up on the on the next morning. Okay. Because everyone is like slept for the night and you're ready to get to get going. Because Lady Blackbird, you all that you know is that Flint, your your dear your dear lover is a pirate king off in the remnants somewhere. And you need to get, to get going that way. Haven is mostly a stop for, for fuel. Mm. So it's time to head onward. But <laughs> you might not have picked the, the, the best crew to, to stay hidden. Vance has a few warrants out on his own, and I think probably like the the, what dominates the shot of Haven in the morning is that the Hand of Sorrow is here. Nice. Yeah. We, we see that in the, up, up in, in the sky above Haven. Fort- I imagine Fort- I probably have a Warren or two as well, but uh, I think I'm, I'm successful enough that perhaps they, they've heard my name but don't really know exactly what I look like. Yeah. Maybe they have like a rough description and like a mm-hmm. sketch drawn up, but it's not it's not right at all. Yeah, I think it's it's most like Vance and Associates. I think your name is definitely like on an investigator's board somewhere. Yeah. This is Arkham? Question mark? Question mark? Question mark? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I have think there. Man? We haven't either. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think there would be a a, a warrant out on me, except. That uh, as far as most humans are concerned, uh, goblins all look the same, so they they can't. They, there isn't like a like yeah. a picture to describe. Yeah. yeah, there's like oh. seven yeah. snorkels arrested at the moment. It's oh also yeah, very yeah. <laughs> it's a very common name. Like a picture of someone who can change shape. Yeah, it's very difficult. How tall was he? Uh, well, uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, at which point, give or take about two. <laughs> So, yeah, so the, 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 yeah, the first of the, the owl is not too far away, but I think the, the hangar is probably crawling with Imperials at this point. Well, hmm? there's a solution to that. It's called a wrench. <laughs> <laughs> Letting Glad go at the next moment is probably like veil drawn over her eyes, just groaning. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I would have never thought I'd spent the night in a brothel. So perhaps we should uh, look into acquiring a uh, a different ship. Yeah, that's an option. What's a captain? If, if you think the the owl is a bit well, I, I, I don't... it's as small as the owl is. I feel like it's a little too high profile at the very moment. Mm-hmm. Um, to yeah, uh, yeah. Safely I, take that, so yeah. I d- don't quite think the the captain's ready to give up the L, but he's definitely like pro like stealing another ship and just oh yeah no no definitely yeah, just yeah we're make, gonna like, just making off and then hopefully getting back. I, th- I think this is also something that's happened a few times in the past. Yeah, uh, I yeah, think I when think you so, yeah, uh, yeah. you know, when you first bring up the idea, uh, I'm all what abandon the L? That's crazy. Uh, we, and then we're not going to abandon the owl. We're just going to borrow and more than likely not return a different ship. 
Oh, like a faster one? Okay, 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 let's yeah. do this. I'm down. <laughs> Okay. So, uh... so how, do, how how do you want to go about acquiring a faster ship? You said the the hangar's crawling with uh, with Imperials. Um, yeah. So I think we should go to the least concentrated area of Imperials, mm -hmm. find the first ship we can find, and just grab that. Okay. <laughs> should be the general plan. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's see. What would be out here that we find? It's like not in the hangar itself. I'm thinking. Let's see. Do we all have any thoughts about what what we're, what we're, what we're looking for outside of just a faster ship? Well, uh, so the, the Imperials are crawling all over uh, the you know Ooh. the the hangar that the owl is in. Mm-hmm. Yeah, or like the. The, the general area. I think. Yeah, have, have they have they actually found the owl, or is it just like generally the hangar area is? Yeah, yeah, it's like it's like the hangar as a whole. Okay, so, so they're, not they're, specifically. They're, yeah, they, the they owl. haven't like pinned down the owl just yet. Mm -hmm. Okay, so maybe but, I just turn to um, <clears throat> to the group and say, concern yourself with getting us off the ground. I will keep the Imperials busy. Just oh. keep your latch open at the top of the ship. I might need to go outside. Is is that safe, Lady Ruffy? Yeah, I would I... caution that that doesn't seem like a relatively good idea. Um, because in order to get you to where we need to take you, we need to make sure that we still have you. <laughs> Sounds spooky, though. What do you uh, have in mind? Lads, I didn't I didn't embark on this journey to be safe. <laughs> I'm willing to take risks. I'm, I'm looking ah. very skeptically. Like just worried and mm. I, I guess it would be this up to the captain then, so I'll just sort of turn to him and, and wait for what he has to say. Yeah, the the captain sort of looks between between all four of you, and uh, the key nods at the lady and says, "Well, I've heard you, you blackbirds, have a fair amount of tricks up, tricks up your sleeves. If you if you think you can do this, then you know, shrugs. By all means." But she just nods gracefully. Yeah, but like, like Kale said, it's our, our job to get you out of here. I'm not just going to let you run off. I'll keep my eye on you, my lady. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He just wants to keep her safe, y'all. Yeah. Nothing no other okay. intentions. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so... um, So do we... Do we get the, the owl, or do we get another ship? No, I, I think we have to take another ship. Do we? I, well, yeah, because they know exactly what the owl looks like, so if we just take off in the owl, they're going to realize exactly where we are. That. In, unless there's some big distraction when we go to take off. However, pro, from my understanding, the, the owl's a little old and not necessarily the best ship, so... Uh, getting sort of an upgrade uh, doesn't hurt either. Yeah. Although uh, uh, it sounds like there will be a distraction when we take off. Um, but, you know, uh, stealing another ship sounds like fun. So... It sounds like fun, yeah, and I imagine that you would have a lot of fun flying an even faster ship. <laughs> so... so... Are there any better ships in Haven? Well, I imagine outside of the hangar, because uh, there probably wasn't a ton of room, that there's at least one or two Imperial ships. I, I don't know if there would be anything else out there. Oh, but... I'm all for that. There's this pull, pull a fucking Jack Sparrow and just steal the Hand of Sorrow. Oh my god, yes. That, that's... <laughs> I don't think we have enough people to steal it. Yeah, exactly. Is the only problem. Mm. 
But they'd they never they expect it. <laughs> yeah, they, if, like Snowden never... can drum up a group, a troop of goblins to do the handiwork for us, maybe. But so we just impersonate the captain of the Hand of Sorrow, and mm -hmm. uh, then we just command them to go where we need to go, and that's all. Uh, and yeah. if they do as we say, we we actually let them have their sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> Always a good option. Okay. Well, uh, <laughs> uh, by any chance do I know of like a uh, uh, like a horribly mistreated uh, crew of uh, fellow goblins? Uh, How many that... do you want? I think there's a fair fair bunch of those in the neighborhood. <laughs> well, um. Like enough to uh, to fly the hand of uh, uh, sorrow. It, okay. You know, you can uh, you can make the promise of food at the very least. Oh yeah, imperial, imperial mustard. mustard. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you know how much mustard they have. It's, it's lovely. <laughs> this is, so this is a beautiful the, the thing. This is this isn't like empire territory. Right? So the Hand of Sorrow isn't welcome here. Mm. Mm. Not, not, right? Yeah, like, strictly I think there's like a, a truce between between the Empire and, and the, the Free World. It's, they, it's not like they'll be chased off, but like people don't mm. like them. So I, I don't mean, think like, anti-Empire sentiment is going to be hard to find here. Yeah. Hmm. Well, I mean, Naomi doesn't have a problem with that, but, like, maybe stealing an Imperial cruiser? This is a cruiser? Whatever. An yeah. Imperial big ship? Some, something uh, like that. Way in on that truce thing that they have here. Hmm. But yeah, if we can find, like, people to do it, and we do that. I, I think well, maybe this is a, a mission for Snargle, and in the meantime, perhaps Naomi and I can make some other preparations to yeah. either assist with a distraction or uh, just gather up some supplies. Okay, so it 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 sounds like sounds like we're making two roles here. One yeah. for for Snargle to like round up the goblins, uh, like as many as you can find. And then one for Lady Blackbird with the the rest of you helping to make the a distraction to keep the Imperials busy while you're while you're taking off on the Hand of Sorrow. Yeah, so they probably have like a lot of their crew on on the uh, Haven itself yeah. right now. Mm -hmm. So we'll just we'll just try to draw more out, or maybe. Uh, like maybe not actually do a distraction, maybe get uh, supplies for it and get like better weapons to for it to be easier to to take it over or something like that. Mm. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. We we can just treat this as like you're like generally helping on the ground to like get this running. And and yeah, we'll, we'll just treat it. I'm like, just I'm just thinking of the intent here. What's the intent? Do we do a distraction? Do we do uh, do we get prepared for the boarding, or what? Yeah, I, I think um, while we probably could help with the distraction, it might be more beneficial if we were to gather up some supplies. Um, maybe even some extra fuel so that we have a better chance of making it without needing to stop again. Although somewhere in there, I think we should leak word that... that uh... The crew of the owl has been spotted in X place that we're nowhere near. Uh, and oh yeah, definitely. And definitely, consider, yeah. consider me helping both of you by just like handing you sacks of money. <laughs> yeah, Very we're, helpful we're, indeed. We definitely shouldn't say that we've been spotted at the intrigue and in mustard, because um, we wouldn't want any harm to come to that place. Uh, yeah. So maybe it's got like. Good mustard. Maybe like some bar down the street that we don't care about or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
So the aim is to make a distraction and to get supplies, but the supplies aren't really the role. Yeah, a, a rival bar that uh, I've never been to because they don't allow goblins there. Oh, yes. Um, <laughs> be terrible. Yeah, one of those. I places. wish I could visit. Um, oh, okay, so it's it sounds like let's see. So, so Lady Blackbird, did you still want want to do the, some sort of super magical distraction while, while we're like, as part uh, of I leaving? I think it's not needed anymore. I'll just okay. that. Hmm. Okay, so yeah, either either Kale or Naomi will be be making a, a supply run roll. I do ask Naomi to. Um, Buy a weapon for me too, since I'm well yes, fully under. Yes, definitely. Um, hmm. Well then, uh, maybe Naomi like... should make the roll, and I can assist. If you want to. Um. Yeah. I feel like this would be keen for me. Um. Yeah. Like because yes, because um, getting supplies is mostly about like being aware of the quality. Uh, haggling with traders or something like that. So, so like mm -hmm. keen, insightful, aware. Liars is also probably <laughs> a, a trait mm -hmm. that would fit. Yep. Yeah. Makes that's sense. that's probably that. So I'd have uh, five dice. Yeah. Yeah. And so did you count my health? And no, no, six dice with your health. Yep. And one one health from Kale. So. Yeah. Yeah. Um... Six dice. Anyone else? Um, no, wait. With with both of your helps, it's seven dice. Yeah, and I think the the difficulty here, like getting getting, getting or getting like a lot of supplies, or is this yeah. like yeah, that's probably gonna gonna be gonna be four. All right. Um. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll use like two full points for this. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I would help, but I think I'm otherwise engaged with the you know the other half. Yeah, you. Yeah, you'll be you'll be off doing your thing. Yeah. All right. I'm rolling. Nice. <laughs> so yeah, you definitely get like enough supplies to keep the the hand of sorrow running for a while. Yeah, and I get like, I get like a nice short sword for Lady Blackbird, and mm -hmm. like weapons for me and uh, and uh, Kai, Kale, because um, we probably need them. Mm -hmm. And they probably confiscated any weapons we had on the ship. Well, but not yeah. all of them. Yeah, well, <laughs> some of us are better at better the, hiding the bigger, weapons. The bigger, the bigger, more difficult to hide ones. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, so with that, that with that going well, let's. Oh, uh, actually, I have a question first. Um, mm -hmm. so we're gonna have to fight this uh, place. Um, wait, no, never mind. It's. I uh, I do want to bring something up too before we switch scenes. Um, mm -hmm. Being that we're specifically on the lookout for you know getting supplies and stuff, and mm -hmm. we're in uh, a bit of a a rougher area uh, perhaps. Um, I'm gonna be on the lookout for anything that stands out. That's like maybe a fancier blade or uh, just anything cool, really. That okay. sort of catches my eye, and I, I'm mm -hmm. definitely just gonna try and like slip that in my pocket, whether it be mm -hmm. for me or like the captain, or maybe even Snargle. Maybe it's like a fancy set of lockpicks or something. Yeah, I, I think what what you do find is, see, I think you you walk past some sort of like cleaning place like okay. down here, like some place where people go to like get their like their stuff cleaned, and there's a matching set of like. Four really fancy looking purple cakes. Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, like, I'm all over that. Mm. <laughs> I am all over that. All right, so mm. let's see. Um, I think definitely I can apply the burglar trait here. Um, quiet, sneak, uh, hide might apply. Dexterous and um, maybe darkness as well, making use of the shadows in that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd, I'd probably say it. Like everything but hide if you're just like snagging this while you're like while you're on the way to something else. And I'm like I'm like watching you do this and I'm kind of like why? But 
I'm not doing anything to stop you, so. <laughs> okay. Uh, so let's see, that's one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, now we'll probably save difficulty three with this. Because there's a, it's a few of them. All right, and um, since I definitely don't want to get caught, I'll use two of the dice in my pool as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sweet. Nice. Nice. So yeah, you, you like, <laughs> snag them as you're walking by. Yeah, I definitely just like casually like slip one on like, too. Boop, 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 boop. Yep. <laughs> nice. Good shit. So yeah, that's so you just that's slip one on and the rest is like the bag or something. Mm. Yep. Yeah, I just like stuff them in the bag. Yep. Yeah. So that definitely hit your your key agreed for that. Sweet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Nice. Yeah, I love how like how different the game becomes too, because like who plays the different characters. This is becoming a lot, a lot more Pirates of the Caribbean than I envisioned. <laughs> well, and I, I was <laughs> yeah, happy I like when it. I was looking over the characters and I saw Kale because like that is the yeah. kind of character I like to play. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, pretty neat. So yeah, let's. No, let's apparently, kind of... we're going to take over the hand of sorrow. Yeah. <laughs> Nice. nice. So, yeah, let's that's, that was a decision that I didn't expect, but I really like. <laughs> yeah. yeah, me too. I'm a big fan of this. So speaking of which, <laughs> let, let, let's pan over to you, Snuggle. Okay. So, uh, you know, I'll um, uh, find that that uh, Warren of uh, uh, fellow goblins uh, in you know the the you know. Uh, the you know the worst part of the 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 worst port uh, in Haven where uh, you know nobody else uh, would be uh, you know would be caught dead, <laughs> but us goblins, um, and uh, I'll uh, you know uh, like show some of that gold around uh, to mm -hmm. to you know get some attention. And then we all... Brothers and sisters! The time has finally come! The, uh... Those, uh, small-nosed imps have, uh... Uh... Stuck... Uh, ha have, uh... Put their nose... Uh... Too far... Up where, uh... Up where... It, uh... The, the sun does not shine! It is our... <laughs> <laughs> it's a it's a goblin thing, don't worry. About. Yes, yes. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But by the way, is is imps just like a go is it a, a goblin slur for humans or is it like a like a free world slur for imperials? Uh I think kinda of both. I, mm -hmm. I feel like that that's been like it's tra it's like this was a slur for goblin once upon a time, but they mm. just use it for humans now. Mm. <laughs> Yeah, yeah they, I feel like some over. of the lower like humans would also yeah. refer to the Imperials that way though, because it's short mm -hmm. for Imperials and sounds very yeah. like demeaning. Mm -hmm. Goblin, uh, goblins would definitely influenced uh, the free society yeah. that way, so we yeah. call like Imperial teams. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I feel it. Yeah, I dig it. I'm writing this down. <laughs> okay. Uh. Uh. Now and in this place, we have a uh, sorry. Uh, we have a chance to rise up and uh, claim a, pace, a place of power for our own. The hand of sorrow. It, it lies uh, barely guarded. We, we, uh, we who have been so downtrodden, drawn, have the the opportunity to to. Uh, Finally, and for all time, take the upper hand. What say you? Okay, cool. What say they? What, what say they indeed? Okay. Ah. So I, th I think this is going. This is I think this is just going to be one of those roles where, like, the more successes you get, the better it is. I don't think we're gonna have like a set obstacle for this. So there's, the more successes you get, the better. Okay, cool. Uh, so, so invest as you please. 
I, I think this is... Uh, I, I mean, this could be under Goblin, but I, I, I'm thinking it's actually under Sky Sailor, uh, and that uh, I'm you know, essentially riling up a anger against the the empire which is uh you know one of the one of my tags uh and it involves pirates uh and uh knowing you know exactly where in haven to go mm -hmm. uh yeah, makes sense and i'm spreading around some of uh lady blackbird's gold mm -hmm. uh so Don't forget with the food. The promise of food. Oh yes. Uh, oh, and <laughs> <laughs> yes. Don't forget. Take a look at your. Uh, take a look at your um, keys too, because you could look the key of banter for a key here uh, for a die here instead of experience. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Well, okay, so I'll, 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 I'll go ahead and use the. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Colin, that key of banter, um, mm -hmm. and oh yes, let's not forget the imperial mustard. That's on board. <laughs> so, how many dice? Uh, I think that's uh six plus the one for the the one initial. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that, that adds up. Nice. Yes, seven. Uh, I'd help, but I'm not there. Yeah, mm -hmm. same. Mm -hmm. And what the hell? I mean, the the uh, I'll go ahead and use my uh. The secret of the lucky break to uh, uh, use the rest of my dice without actually using them. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, this is important. If we get like 50 goblins to come with us, that'll yeah. be great. Just like a whole goblin armada. Go and take over <laughs> the imperial. <laughs> so that's okay. 14 dice? Uh, I well, so, yeah. I, I didn't get all my... I, I got rid of angry rather than uh, getting my oh, dice yeah. back. So, uh, uh, 11. Let's, let's, see, let's actually check how that works. Okay. So I think you can... Yeah, you can fix it. Yeah, uh... you get your dice back, and then you can get rid of a, a thing, or you can... Um... Yeah, so you, you always get all your dice back. Oh, okay, sweet. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so 14. Just use all seven of them either way. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you have your, your 14 dice. Think that's a total of 15? Oh. Okay. Well, it's a pretty seven. Though, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, a, it's pretty average. Yeah, seven <laughs> successes is definitely more than that. We, we get this like, widening shot, like as, as I think it just zooms out while you're speaking, and we just see like the goblins getting riled up. Like, like yeah, more yeah. coming in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Fuck the empire. Let's go. <laughs> Stick it to the imps. Yeah. Sorry. Where the sun doesn't shine. <laughs> can I? Can I? Yeah, so, yeah, so I think I think what what we see is like like you you're all getting your stuff ready. Does everyone have their new capes on? I think the captain would definitely accept the cape they've offered. Oh yeah, no, I definitely would have offered him one. Uh, mm -hmm. I would have offered one to Naomi, and I think when we're on the ship, um. Mm -hmm. That I'll, I should be able to to alter the other one to be short enough to fit Snargle and make fashion the remainder into like a scarf or something for Lady Blackbird. Okay. okay. Yeah. So I think we just get a, sh a shot of. Do, do you have the cape on, Naomi? I I think so, but I was like, I was very reserved when accepting it, and I'm like, I'm like humoring him. I'm not not. I'm not excited about this. I'm more like humoring him in, in putting Fine. this on. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so we, we get the, the shot of like the three of you in capes. Like like you wait, waiting for, for Snorkel to get back. And yeah, something and the, is the, the wind is like blowing him back and they're like flowing and stuff. Yeah, it looks pretty epic. It's like you, you're waiting there and it's like, it's like, where is he? And then that you just hear rumbling in the distance. Are they like are they like carrying him above the rest of them? I think it's just a lot of them. No. Like a lot yeah. more than you expected. No. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> this, is like, this is like hundreds. And I think they're they're not just walking, they're like crawling on like on the on the walls of the buildings. Yeah, and they're like on all fours sometimes. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, and the, the, they all look a li like a little bit different. Like some of them are like really long arms, some of them are just like large heads. Some of them look a bit more like lizard-like. Yeah, I imagine some are foaming at the mouth for that imperial <laughs> mustard too. Yeah. <laughs> so I think Those we, we have get like a line from like some imperial officers, like as, that happen to be standing nearby, and he's like talking to themselves, talking about some new speeder bike that just come out and how shit it is. Yeah. And while they all have large noses, they are in different shapes. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, some are like really yeah. wide. I, I, like, I, I think that's just to look. They all look the same. <laughs> just, just big noses. I don't, I don't see the difference. So. You went to a high point to look down on goblins. Mm -hmm. I mean, once you look yeah. down, the only thing you see is noses. It's noses all the way down. Maybe <laughs> Blackbird doesn't see shape, only noses. <laughs> Yeah, so, so like the the, you get the 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 two officers are they're talking to each other and it's like one of them is, like, looks over and says, "What? What? what? And then he just gets like tackled <laughs> by a goblin, <laughs> like, scratching the fuck out of his armor. Just like a face hugger around his head. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, there's a full scale riot, riot against the Imperials here. So. Nice. Mm -hmm. uh, I have an idea how, for how we can approach this, uh, the Hand of Doom, Hand of Sorrow. Which one is it? <laughs> Sorrow. The hand, Sorrow. The, yeah, the Hand of Doom is still on, on the museum. They're very busy. <laughs> yeah, I think once we take it over, I think we have free right to rename it. So, you know, that's that's definitely on the table. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely how that works. <laughs> so, I feel like um, you hear the rumbling of goblins in, in the background, and then you just see, like, the, the hangar where the Hand of Doom is docked, there's just, like, a big supply cart coming in. Like, mm -hmm. filled to the top with supplies that's, mm -hmm. that we mm -hmm. bought and got everywhere. And, mm -hmm. like, nobody's pushing it. Or it mm -hmm. seems like that, because we're all here behind this. Like, <laughs> we are behind this cart and just pushing it. And, like, there's Imperial Guards just watching us for a second. And then, as we get close, the goblins appear from behind us. <laughs> yeah, they're just like rushing in like a river behind you. <laughs> nice. So I think the the the, the shot here as we're like zooming out from Haven is the the hand of sorrow as it's leaving. I think I think to contrast with the last time we saw it, the hang the hangar doors are open, and people are just getting thrown out as we're heading out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I I definitely made sure that nobody we could get made it out alive yeah here. for sure like we didn't get a scene but i tried <laughs> yeah yeah for sure it hits your your key of engines from that uh, like, like we, we we see naomi like what, what, maybe you're like personally throwing a few people out <laughs> but like like killing them and then throwing them out yeah and like with, with the red strangling someone maybe <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah for sure Okay. Yeah. Behold the green tide. <laughs> the, <laughs> you are, are okay. I'm definitely writing about that. <laughs> Behold the green tide. Are, all right. Are all goblins green? I'm sorry. Or is that just are all goblins green? Um. Well, I mean, they they can change the color a little bit, but yes, yes, they are. So, so some are more yellowish green. Some are more. No, they all look the same. <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel like the the history PDFs w uh, of the future will definitely refer to the the green tide when Snargle time. and hundreds of goblins just rampaged through the streets of Haven and just, got onto like, the uh... like a camouflage pattern going across all the <laughs> yeah it's like someone's vomiting down the street. <laughs> oh. <laughs> It's Lady Blackbird. Like okay, that. your your yeah. anti-goblin sentiment is noted. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the green so, yeah. side will come for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Okay. So, 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 yeah, Brad, look forward to dealing with that in, in the main game. <laughs> okay, awesome. <laughs> goblin, goblin rights movement. <laughs> So, this so, yeah. is Goblin History Month now. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we, we are <laughs> on an Imperial cruiser. 
You have left the the owl behind. Yep, for now. Uh, yeah, for so, now. Uh, come, back, come back here eventually. Yeah. Uh, the, can I take a uh, oh, can I take a key of conscience conscience for uh, uh, my contributions to the uh, uh, Goblin Liberation Movement? I don't know. It, ha, has this changed someone's life for the better? You think? Oh yes, absolutely. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> yes for for the people. All... Gave these goblins a job. Yeah, yeah, they have a job also... and they have yeah. food now. Mm-hmm. It probably yeah, also changed the lives of those Imperials to nothing, but... Uh, well, that's... I'm not, not sure that's for the better. <laughs> yes, definitely for the better. Yeah, for other people. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Better to die on, your, die on your feet than to live on your knees, right? <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. So, so, yeah. You're, you're heading off into pirate space. Okay. Aboard an Imperial cruiser. Oh, yes, right. uh, <laughs> this is gonna go well. <laughs> I can just feel it. So, uh, what could possibly go wrong? I don't think I'm thinking about this. Someone else has to. I don't know. I don't think. Yeah, I don't... Uh, uh, yeah. What has uh, ideas? Uh, I, I think what happened is that you settled on this plan while drunk yesterday, and the captain just kind of went along with it. Mm-hmm. But then he. That right about now, like when his hangover is like settled, he's like, "Oh yeah, that's a thing we're gonna have to deal with." <laughs> well, so. I mean, uh, we are going to need to uh, find ourselves a uh, a Jolly Roger flag, but we just hoist mm-hmm. that up and and it'll all be fine, right? Yeah, it's definitely how that oh. works. Like, without saying a word, um, w- when the captain notices that we are, like, in an Imperial cruiser, and I, I say, oh, right, that might have been, might, might become a problem. So without saying a word, I'm just searching the whole thing for a few buckets of paint, so you can, like, paint on the hull. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, like, that, that's... <laughs> yeah, that, 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 that's definitely a thing. It could, could be... I, th- I think the... Oh, oh, I know what this is. I think the because the, the the empire is a bit more like sci-fi than the rest of the world. So I think they have some yeah. sort of like active camouflage on the like on the, the outside of the ship. Yeah. So you can the, you, if you can f- like find the right controls, you need to like, have someone like recalibrate that, to, like show to show your your new allegiance. You can just okay, see yeah. that. Okay, yeah. Like, the the least. So when when I first got on the ship. Uh, like I said, I was gonna alter the the other one and give it to Snargle and, you know, like use the remnants of, to make like a scarf or something for Lady Blackbird. Mm-hmm. And uh, I'll let it be up to you whether I got to do that before we realized we're gonna have this problem or like during if, if it was during that. But uh, yeah, that, as soon as it's mentioned, I, I'm immediately gonna get up and head to the controls to try and figure this out as fast as I can. Yeah, yeah. I feel like like the alteration is gonna take a bit of time. So I think that talk definitely happens like before you're done, at least. Mm-hmm. Okay, sure. Um, yeah, so I'll run to, uh, <coughs> to the control room, mm-hmm. and um, I, you know, I feel like if there's one one guy who got left on the ship, it was the guy that we knocked out before and took yeah. the ship. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> Everybody yeah. forgot about him. He was just yeah, he just the control there. room. Yeah, he he is off in the he is off he was off in the med bay for a while after he got knocked out. Yeah. Like, you, you know what? Why don't you just go sit in the control room for a while? Like, nothing happens there anyway. You just no. <laughs> yeah, you, you just walk out. You, you you walk in and he he turns around and he he has another sandwich. <laughs> no. It's lunchtime all over again. <laughs> It's like, uh, uh, no, no, we're not doing this. I'm gonna put this down. What do you want? Uh, well, um, if you would be so kind as to 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 help us, and uh, before I I, for, I forget my manners, I, I do apologize for last time, but we were in a bit of a hurry. I'm I'm sure you understand. Um, now, if if you would be so kind as to help us, uh, perhaps. Show uh, the new leadership of uh, of this ship. Uh, you you would be rewarded with uh, 
additional sandwiches oh. per day. <laughs> you have uh, left down at the, the his little desk. Says, well, I do like sandwiches. <laughs> Uh, if I if I'm there, uh, I'll say uh, if I might make a suggestion. I think the next word, uh, the the next <laughs> hi. <laughs> uh, the... Where'd you come from? Oh well, <laughs> we're all over the place. I I think the you might want to make sure that the next words out of your mouth are, I for one support our new goblin overlords. What do you say? <laughs> He's just sort of like passing the dagger back and forth in his hand and like digging out the dirt under his nails and stuff. Like leaning up against the wall, trying to trying to be as threatening as he can with uh, you know. Yep. The Yep. It, yep first off, I feel Snarble, Snarble hit your teeth. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. Bam! I feel like I'm also there just because I've been searching for a way to do this, so I'm I, mm -hmm. I, I like linked up with uh, Kale. Yeah, at some point. Yeah, yeah. I think we, we can definitely like all be here as we like we all we all figure out that like this is something that needs to be done. So, Lady Blackbird, what 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 are you doing in this whole mess? Um. Hmm. I don't know. Everybody's doing stuff for me. I don't need to do anything. <laughs> <laughs> Probably nice. at the bridge now with the captain. Mm -hmm. Oh. And like, because this this ship is too big to just be like steered by a person, right? Yeah. So there's, there's, there's definitely. Like... Yeah. Go, go ahead. Like go, going over different panels and mm -hmm. like seeing how the ship actually functions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it, I think it's a bit like like a plane in that a lot of the systems are just automated, but there's never mm. definitely gonna need like a few people to keep an eye on all the instruments. So I think there's like a few goblins in the background just like fiddling with stuff. Yeah, I feel like, like there definitely would have to be. Yeah. Yeah, I think, like as these these scenes are going on, there might be like a sudden drop every so often. Yep. It's like someone turns off one of the, one of the engines. Like oh no, <laughs> oh, what? not that one. So. <laughs> so we're flying in a direction, but it's not very stable. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and every yeah, now and again, like, one of them just... turns the lights off. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry! Oh, that's one. Not that one, Doggle. <laughs> he just keeps doing it. He can't figure out that it's it's a different switch to do something else. Mm -hmm. <laughs> At some point, the, the alarm goes off because they thought they could open the hangar doors, but... Mm -hmm. They hit the alarm button and said, <laughs> "But they always look the same." Yeah. Like, yeah. That that really big red button that says "Do not touch" it gets hit a lot. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But I mean, so, yeah. How are the Imperials going to follow us? They're not. They don't have a ship. <laughs> yeah. There's nothing. No ship out here that can catch up with Hand of Sorrow. Quickly enough, at least mm -hmm. not one that they can come and do. So, so yeah, I think I think you you, you do get the, the guy like the collaborate with you, it's like with everything that's going on. So like, fine. I feel like we I, have to negotiate too. Like he's like extra sandwiches, mm, and he tries <laughs> to ask for like three, <laughs> and I'm like, one extra, <laughs> three, one extra, and then we eventually <laughs> agree on two. Mm -hmm. With extra mustard, though. Yeah, yeah. The the mustard's fine. The, it's mm -hmm. like mass produced on the ship. It, it's cool. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, we we have we have a mustard production facility mm -hmm. on the ship. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, the mustard's worth something. We've you've smuggled this mustard before, and you can produce the mustard on this ship. This is like mm -hmm. infinite money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Step yeah, three, the, profit. The, the, the... No, but That's here's, here's the thing, though. Here's the thing, though. We need that master to pacify our goblin crew. <laughs> Otherwise, they're going to mutiny us. Yeah, yeah they the basically run mustard. Just enough for the goblins. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, I think Keep part of the, the, you know, the modifications is, uh, you know, uh, perhaps somewhat alarmingly painted on the side is uh, death to the humans, spelled D-E-T-H. In mustard. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. That's just valuable. Maybe the, the color is mustard, but we, yeah. we wouldn't waste such a resource on that. 
Yeah, the non-imperial mustard. <laughs> yeah, somebody goes and gets the, the one we bought. Out out of the, <laughs> the shitty Nightport mustard. <laughs> All right, do we want to get back to play? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> so so yeah you're on your way somewhere and let's see I mean, yeah we, we have to have sky charts right mm. that can yeah. steer yeah there's been sky yeah. charts in the show probably yeah for, for sure like there's but and I, I think at least like the the free world is among you so snargle tail and well, the captain all know that that navigating the remnants, where where Flint's fleet is, like where, where he lives, is a very treacherous event. And that, that's for, for like small ships. So the hand of sorrow's size does not really help here. Like yeah. it probably hinders you more than anything. Yeah. So that's going to be difficult. So I think that your your main chances are going to get to. Well, to get to the remnants and then be able to navigate through the remnants like, to f to to find to find Flint, basically. Is uh is the hand of sorrow armed? Yeah, I would think so. Okay, cool. Um, when we get closer to the the remnants, I'll definitely make my way down to uh, operate one of the cannons or whatever kind of weapon it has to. Yeah. Uh uh, I'm, I'm pic the... picturing picturing them as like more like physical missiles rather than like yeah. lasers or whatever. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. So let's see. But I think na just navigating from Haven to to the realms is going to be difficult. Like you you're basically traversing the the length of the of the three wor of the the three worlds. It's going to be like a, like a few days. Yeah. So good thing we have a good pilot. Is... Yeah, so yes, uh, yes. Like, <laughs> the pilot, who could he be speaking of? Oh, no. <laughs> I'm a very good pilot. What are you talking about? Ooh, uh, we probably would have had to make alterations to the seat, too, because I imagine it was designed for, you know, humans Only and not human, yeah. a goblin. Yeah. So well, can you probably science. can't see over mm. unless we, like, make it higher. Mm. I yeah, mean, is it, no, is it a shape changer? So he can just, like, extend himself. Yeah. Yeah. Or, or put in a booster seat. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Definitely a booster seat. I think. No, I, I feel we don't have booster seats. I just ripped it out, and then we put like a box underneath, and then we put the seat on top of it. Nice. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. So it's, a, it's it's a bit wiggly, but it works. Uh, okay. So, should I roll to navigate, or? I think so. Yeah. Like, like to like to get there. Okay. It's going um, to be going to be a bit of navigation. Okay, so I will pilot, uh, and of course I'll be using navigation and uh, uh, looking at maps. Mm -hmm. uh, and I don't know if atmospherics would come in or not. Maybe not. Uh, Let's see. This might just be one of those words that don't mean anything else. You can see if it shows up anywhere else. It does not. I mean, you could so, you could say it's even more important for a big ship like this because mm -hmm. air resistance mm -hmm. and stuff. Yeah, I, I could I could see that for sure. All right. Like, like, um, you know, I think uh, would I be able to assist him as well with either like using. Uh, my mechanic with the um, tag of either engines or efficiency. Yeah, for sure. Makes sense. Cool. Okay. Yeah, and with what's the what's the aim of this? What's the task we we uh, complete? Like, do we get to the uh, what the, what are they called? Um, the, remnants? The, re the remnants. The remnants. The remnants. But we, yeah, we don't yeah, find okay. where the pirate captain is then, right? Yeah, but you you don't like, you don't know where Flint's fleet is located. You yeah, just okay. know that he's in he's in the he's in the, he's in the like the rest of the pirates. Yeah. 
Good. So maybe I'm helping. Like I'm, 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 I'm a smart person. I'm insightful, apparently. Um, so I'm, I'm looking at the charts and I'm trying to figure out like places where a fleet could be, and I'm trying to steer us towards those or like tell you, hey, maybe we should go there. That's mm -hmm. how I'm helping. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Makes sense. So I think getting you there, like you, you, like you're traveling through the free worlds and you're heading past Nightport, which is like. Crime City. It's like the dust wall of the of the Wild Blue. <laughs> and like into the remnants, which is like even more lawless. So like getting to the remnants safety is going to be difficult to find. Okay. Uh this may be interesting. So you've got two from help and uh and a few more. Yeah. Uh, I, I think I'm looking at seven dice. Um, but you know, if I yeah. fail, then it, something interesting will happen. So yeah, so, yeah. so something yeah, interesting will happen. Interesting. Something interesting will happen, indeed. <laughs> so I think the the thing that makes the most sense to me, like it's like Imperial cruisers traveling through through these skies, is that you're because the I think the pirates themselves are more concerned with like raiding. Reading the like, the Imperial Expanse, which is like off this way, like off more like northwest mm -hmm. in the Wild Blue. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's where they make most of their trips. While while even like while they live in the remnants permanently. So I think what you get here is going to be because you made quite the exit. From Haven. Yes, we did. We yeah, did yeah. make quite an exit. <laughs> you could say that. <laughs> yeah, and I think the the Imperials on site have informed like all the scum and villainy they could find that this person is this person Cyrus Vance is wanted by the Empire, dead or alive. So I think what happens is that there is like a fleet of bounty hunters. Coming after you, because you like see them, like see them in, in like in the rearview mirrors. It's like a good like seven or eight ships at the very least. Sorry, I'm just imagining that this ship has rearview mirrors. Yeah. This yeah. Huge <laughs> yeah, definitely. Like there's, <laughs> yeah, for sure. The, the... the mirrors themselves are like the size of like three cars stacked on top of each other. Just huge. <laughs> now I'm just picturing like the, the ship from. Spaceballs, which is just like this ma <laughs> absolutely nope. massive ship. And it's just nope. Like, nope. Yeah. Nope. Yeah, nope. We're not nope. doing that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. That, that movie, no. Sorry. <laughs> yes. That's... I, I have very few lines. That's one of them. Yeah. We, we draw the line there. We're okay. Not going there. X carded. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Is... Okay. We cut that. So there's a bounty hunter fleet following us. Yeah. Sell out to yeah. aft. Yeah. I'm definitely, I'm like, I didn't, like, the moment we noticed that there's bounty hunter, hunters after us, I'm just running to, like, the gunnery stations, and I'm just going to sit there and just shoot at them. Mm -hmm. Lovely. Um, while that happens, um, Lady Blackbird gets just, like, a little, um, what's, what's the, like, that specific black word called? Um, the Santa black thing? No, 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 no. Black, the, um, black al alabaster? Um, come on. Ebony. 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 Like a little ebony box with like silver clasps on it and like carries it up to one of the crow's nests. It's like in the, in the chaos of like goblins running around panicked and not knowing what mm -hmm. to do, she's just like carrying this box silently and quietly up to, like, a vantage point on top of the Head of Sorrow. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, if, like, if, if anything else is happening that can happen now, by mm -hmm. plan. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, Kale and Snargle, what, what are you what are you doing? What's your role during this fight? Uh, I also went down to man one of the uh, weapons. Mm. Yeah, there's definitely like a few of those. It's not snuggle. Um, and uh, I'm going to uh, 
Well, so the thing is about uh, tracking down an Imperial cruiser is that it's not necessarily a good thing to find it. So I'm just going to kind of turn and let them catch up a bit and give them, and set up a, 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 a broadside. Okay. Yep. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I think that's... We, we can treat this as... I mean, it's probably like one one role for all of you, like you know, like helping each other, like the, yeah. this this fight. Let's um, say say that that's difficulty five. And what whoever whoever of you wants to make the main role. Mm. Like I feel like whatever Lady Blackbird is doing is seems like it might be impressive because that sounded like some sorcery shit. So yeah. maybe <laughs> maybe we are helping Lady Blackbird here. Yeah. What's in the box? Mm-hmm. <laughs> that was the box. Let's find out. Um, yeah, I th- I think she um, she just readies herself in the. Um, she actually has a belt like tied to one of the rafters, so she doesn't get blown off. Mm. Um, like she always had these like lacy black gloves on, but she now like pulls off very deliberately. Mm. And puts on the floor, and then she opens the box, and she mutters while she like takes it like. Um, Spirit chalk and silver shavings and um, I don't know, like whale tears, like all that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. And she lights incense, which she like puts um, in this little sand thing that's in the box. And then she starts to chant, like first very like very quietly, while every now and then like sprinkling water into the air or throwing um, the shavings off. Um, she swallows like mercury at some point, um, and then yeah, as that happens, around the ship just clouds start gathering, but only above but beyond too. It just gets wrapped in this like mm. slowly darkening hull of water, water vapor, and the winds like start um, start up again. And because our ship is quite a bit bigger, it isn't as bothered, but the like further away. Mm-hmm. Uh, bounty hunter ships just begin, um, like, being bothered by the breeze, and then yeah, eventually just the first arc of lightning crashes somewhere in the clouds, and I think the first bullet that um, Naomi hits get hits to it, uh, like, works as a conductor for the lightning to hit another ship. <laughs> nice. Okay, cool. So I think you, you get help from mm, all three of your of your fellow PCs, mm-hmm. and the captain's going to help help as well. I think, I think he's just coordinating the goblins. He's just shouting at them and like getting them into position, like the like help, helping like turn the ship around and, and helping like man, man the the other cannons mm-hmm. and the like. So he he's helping as well with a bit of command. Yeah, I think I can just take all the traits, uh, all the things from Master Sorcerer. It's spellcaster. I'm mm-hmm. channeling. My storm blood, wind, lightning, everything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's six, seven, and then four seven. from help. So you're at eleven dice. Eleven dice. Mm. Yeah, what's good? I'm I'm going I'm going up to fourteen. Okay. <laughs> yeah, difficulty five. So that's oh, nice. one, two, yeah. three, four, five, oh, yeah. six. Yeah. Oh six. god. Just yeah, a bit a bit narrower than most would like, but definitely <laughs> enough. Yeah, that's... yeah. So what what does it look like as you're like, tearing into these ships with magic and, and missile? I think at some point there's just like a permanent arc of lightning to the top of the hand of sorrow as mm-hmm. Lady Blackbird is like screaming against the storm with her hands up in the air and her like eyes ablaze with bluish white light. And nice. um, yeah, it's it's very like it's very clear that the lightning seems to um, like search out the bullets that are fired from the hand of sorrow to make contact with the bounty hunter ships, and then like all like it get it gets thinned out more and more until maybe one is left that's just kind of teetering in the sky. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> nice, lovely. That's that's beautiful. And um, like yeah, she like she eventually like slumps against the steel and her eyes flutter closed, and she like her whole body is steaming. Her clothes are probably charred. She mm -hmm. just falls unconscious there. Mm. It's on the outside of the ship. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Na Naomi probably knows that, like... Like, I know you do magic, and I know this was not normal, so I'm going to, like, yeah. search for you. Mm. Okay. Some yes. Yeah, so I think maybe our closing shot for, like, for for, for this part, like, for the, for the travel sequence, is, like, Lady Blackbird slumping against, against, like, a wall in the crow's nest, and, like, Naomi coming in to find her. And I think the captain is not, like, not too far behind. It's like he, he was searching for her too, but Naomi just got that um, quicker. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice. That was really cool. Yeah, it was, that was pretty damn cool. Yeah. All things yeah. considered. After all that, I'm going to finish up my uh, alterations on the, the one mm -hmm. uh, cloak there. Mm -hmm. Nice. She's going. She's going to wake up with a purple scarf around her neck. She's <laughs> like, ah, ah. <laughs> okay, nice. So yeah, now we're in, now we're in the remnants, and you've made quite a scene. Yes, that's that's yeah. getting to be yeah. something that's normal for us. Yeah. <laughs> Fortunately, you left no survivors. You don't fuck with the hand of Snago. Yes. <laughs> or the green tide. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> or yeah. our sandwiches. Yeah, def least of all the sandwiches. Yeah, so, yeah. We we've touched on, on an important point here. What's the ship called now? Have you settled on a name while you're traveling here? Hmm. Uh. Hmm. I mean, we already have an owl. Like, just another bird. I don't think Naomi cares about this. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I, I sort of like the green tie. Well, that's uh, that's the crew of it, though. Okay, okay, fair. Yeah. Um, what's what's the biggest avian predator there is? Uh. The eagle? Yeah, eagle comes to mind. Vulture's more of a scavenger. I mean, um, vulture is maybe... Thunderbirds? Is that, uh, is that not a thing? Uh, hummingbird is very small. That could oh, be ironic. Thunderbird. Yeah, I kind of like Thunderbird. that too. Oh, yeah, a rock. Yeah, the rock. With, with the sea, not the sea cave. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're just sure. a rock. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's a, a different maybe. kind of story. Because <laughs> Lady Blackbird definitely is vain enough to make that. Um, mm -hmm. yeah, the, the Black Rock. The Blackbird. <laughs> or the Black Rock. <laughs> the Blackbird. Yeah. I'm cool with that. Mm -hmm. Sure. All yeah. that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The Black Rock. Okay, cool. So the the new blended branded Black Rock <laughs> arrives in the remnants, and yeah, so the remnants they're they're basically like the the remains of several planets that fought in the like the war against the Empire like a, a, a decade ago. That were utterly destroyed by this is yeah by some sort of like super weapon that the 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 empire held. Some say that it's like a, a massive demon they unleashed that just shattered multiple world worlds. Some say that it's some sort of exper experimental weaponry. Some say that it's both. It's hard to tell, but there's plenty of stories about like what broke the world. So you used to see like these these shattered, shattered like, endless worlds reaching out before you. You know that you're at the edge of 
well, what what one would, would call civilization. You're heading into the lawless territory, <laughs> basically like mm. a repainted golf cart. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> well, like, we are the new uh, law. Yeah, like when, when we were changing tank. the name, it was like all the different suggestions. We kept like flashing it up on the outside of the ship, and it, it always said "crewed by the green tide." And then we eventually settled on the Black Rock. <laughs> yeah, I, th I think I think Death to Humans is still on there. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. It's definitely on there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That that okay. was like the system that was actually painted on, so uh, we can't oh, yeah. change that. I can just imagine just a bunch of goblins hanging off the side, screaming and giggling while painting that on. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Like, I'm, I'm picturing like lots of shanties as, like on your way there as you're like, singing and like, repainting the ship. Yep. Yo ho! Blow the man down. <laughs> and fuck the imps. <laughs> okay. So how are you going to track Flint down? Is my next question. Yeah, so we kind of started on this, right? So uh, we know that Flint has a fleet, so he needs yes. to be in a place where a fleet can actually be. And it mm -hmm. looks like there's a lot of like rubble and ruined stones, and so so we need to have he needs to have a place where there's room. For them. So mm -hmm. that's like the starting point for it, I guess. Yes. Okay, so you're just like trying to to chart the path. Like, because the, the 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 map is not like as exact out here as it should be. Yeah. Like for, for good reason. Like there's what? not a lot of charts of the remnants. It probably also changes a lot mm -hmm. because yeah. Like, what kind of instruments would a would an imperial ship have that we could use to I think, locate? I think, yeah, I think that there's definitely like a like a radar, like a, like a sonar-based radar, rather than rear, rear view mirrors. Like, track, get like a good view of, of your surroundings. I don't think there's like heat scanners or anything like that. Mm -hmm. But I do think that, that there, you know, maybe there's, maybe there, there is something, because this would be, this is like a ship that's used to track down ships from like a long distance this is like a like a border watch ship Maybe. more or less um be because the um the system's engines are like weird electromagic -y stuff too right mm -hmm. yeah like maybe there's something that lets us like not pinpoint the exact location but um like be notified if there are other active engines of that kind in mm -hmm. the vicinity yeah, le yeah, for sure. I think that there's definitely something that the ship has that lets you track, not like, like exhaust, like like yeah. fuel traces in the air. It's like, hmm, there's been a ship that's been passing here recently. Right. I think that, that's that's probably how they track the Aldan. down. Like yeah, so maybe like we're using that. Fumes in the air. Yeah, we maybe we're, we're going to like open spaces and trying to see if there's like ships that have been here or if mm -hmm. we see something like that. Okay. So, so who's see. using the, the instruments? Uh, I, I guess it would make sense if I did, right? Yeah, I'll I'll help like, you definitely. Okay. With my with my knowledge of science. Yeah, and I I already like tried to steer us to uh, an open place when we. Navigated here, yeah. So maybe, uh, and I'll help with observation, because you know, uh, while piloting, I'll you know look out the window. <laughs> Someone needs to. Yeah. <laughs> Else there's like somebody just floating with the engines off, just floating past the window, and we're like, I don't see any signals on here. <laughs> I think okay. from mechanic. Uh, I think, with the exception of sabotage, the rest probably apply. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, though. So let's see. For mechanic, I mean, if you're like navigating this this ship, mm -hmm. let's see, I would probably say, let's see, 
it doesn't say like engines and efficiency. I was thinking then, repair and spare parts might be able to apply because um, I could recognize uh, from doing repair work what makes it uh, what makes that system work, and perhaps I can use some parts to improve it even. Mm, let's see. I, I, I think you can. I think you can have one of them, but not the. Okay, so one, two, three, plus all of you guys helping, plus the die, five, seven, seven, eight. Is the captain helping too? Yeah, he's going to be helping somehow. Okay, so nine. Um, and uh, I think Kia, the mission, would apply here too? Mm hmm Yeah, you're, okay. you're trying to find Flint. Ten. What's the difficulty? Uh, because you don't know how to, like how to navigate the remnants properly, but you have you have like, some means to do it with the with the hand of Sauros equipment or the sure, the, yeah. the black rock. I would it, I would definitely put it at five. Five. Okay. Um. Let's see. We used one. All right. So I'll use four dice in my pool, uh, putting me at fourteen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. yes. Barely. Just, just <laughs> narrowly. Like I, that's how I like to live my life on the edge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So there's definitely like a, more more than a few like narrow like narrow dodges. It's like yeah. Right right past these like world shards. There's definitely more than a few places where where you see like large buildings that are still intact. Wow. Well, yeah. they, they they've probably probably been ransacked more than once. But like you still, still see these like these massive towers and arcs, and I, th I think like at least like those of you that are like are from like the the free world's side, like th this is this is like a dreadful place to be at. Like is, this yeah, is I like a like like a Holocaust memorial or like going to to Hiroshima. This is this is a place of great sorrow. I I don't know how long. We're... Is this ago? Like, how long ago did this happen? I think we're we're talking. I, I've been picturing it as like ten years, basically. Okay. So yeah, so I probably oh, was a slave at that time. Mm -hmm. So I'm 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 feeling like I was a slave to the empire. Mm -hmm. So I didn't know this really happened. Like I heard about it, but I didn't hear like news and stuff. So this is like, I'm I'm just standing there and staring. Yeah, I think you definitely heard of the, like this, this great victory, the, like the war was over. Yeah, exactly. The, I only heard the propaganda. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Yeah, for sure. And, and I think, given that atmosphere, the the uh, like the the revolutionary fervor of, of the goblins is is just like a little bit scary. They're they're <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> they're excited. <laughs> Yeah, and like especially because like the the Goblin homeworld was one of those that was, that was like destroyed. The, the, they've mostly relocated to like Haven and Nightport, and some of them have been put in like yeah, some of them have not fared as well as the others. And yeah, we, we all saw what situ what the situation was like in Haven. Yeah, yeah, I think there's definitely like a, a somber mood. As you traverse this place, I think this is where we get some, some slow and sad music playing. As yeah. we're we're navigating through the through the world shards. Lady Blackthorn, like wrapped in a blanket, and her new shawl, it's like standing <laughs> at the window and staring wistfully out. Mm -hmm. the light. Yeah, like you you've definitely heard some like uncles and family in general just bragging about like. How you won the war, and how how these like rebels got what they deserved, and yeah, like they're definitely like, bragging about like the destruction of this place, even though like they don't even know what happened. <laughs> they they're not quite sure how they won, but we won, so yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, yeah um, there's like a weird aura about like, about the war in general. So like b before before we 
head into like Flint's den. This might be some a good time to have some refreshment scenes. We just want to have a talk about. We want to have a talk about this whole thing. Okay. So, um, I feel like I may have a scene with Lady Blackbird here. Like you're you're wrapped in a blanket and just looking out at the remnants here. Mm. She's probably leaning against the, uh, like the edge of the window. So, I didn't. I don't know what. Uriah Flint did for you to be in love with him. So I'm just going up, coming up next to you, and I'm like leaning at, on the wall. And I ask, uh, So, how is he? Um, I think Blackbird like blinks a couple of times and then looks over to uh, says, Oh, no, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm a little bit out of it. Do you repeat your question? How how is he? Uriah Flint, I mean. Uh, Uriah. He's surprisingly gentle, though he barely ever shows it. Back when she looks out of the window again and all this was over. Was a simple lieutenant back then, served on one of my great uncle's ships. All the people I talked about, he was the only one who told me what I think to be the truth. Actually, I don't think anybody can tell anymore. She just has this like troubled look on her face as he as she looks outside. Yeah, and I feel like that's reflected in in me looking at you. Um, I are you are you sure he's going to feel about you the way you do after all this time? And I I, I feel like I I I have like my hands really tight to my chest, like just kind of in a self-protective manner. Um, I don't know, honestly. I wish for it to be true. Like I wished for it so many years ago. But when we left, and she like looks Naomi in the eye, it was really the only ray of hope that I had left. The only thing that made me leave then. After this dreadfully boring man. Yeah. So, I just think Naomi just says, well, I owe you, so I'll be there. And I'm so thankful for it, Naomi. I don't think I would um, I would have been able to make it this far if you weren't here. She, like, comes and hugs her. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's like, it's like a weird thing because I'm so large. <laughs> and yeah. just like, I, I, I think... also have like, I have my arms in front of me and mm -hmm. and she hugs me and I, I'm like, I can't hug back because I have my arms here. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Consider yourselves refreshed. <laughs> it was good. Really good, y'all. All right. Uh, I think for uh, our scene here, uh, I would have a scene with Snargle, and um, I would approach him as he's still, you know, piloting the the ship. Uh, present him with his his new cloak uh, that I intentionally left a bit tattered at the bottom to 
fit with his lo- sort of rough around the edges look. Sure. Um, He's also I, I, don't, I don't think it would be very proper to have it, you know, nice and clean cut and, you know, we want to give him some extra credit, not yeah. a... As befits my this idiom. Where you can just you can just sell it for fifty more dollars at Nordstrom. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's distressed. It's distressed code, yeah. <laughs> it's fashionable. Um, but anyway, so I I present him with that and uh, I thank him for rallying the the tide in the way that he did. And uh, that we couldn't have commandeered this ship without uh, such a large crew. And I, I sort of uh, flash back to when uh, when the captain told me we were we were getting a, a goblin pilot. And uh, <laughs> I, I, as much as I, I love and respect the captain, I, I, at the time I, I was thinking, why would we ever have a goblin in our crew? You know, because I haven't had any interactions with goblins. I've just heard tales uh, at mm-hmm. this point, and it, it's nothing good. And But, you know, I, I trust the captain, so I'm willing to go along with it. But I, I think to myself at the time that there's a good chance he's going to be more of a liability than anything else. And I sort of reflect on that and just come to the realization of just just how wrong I was and and the fact that he uh, likely saved us by doing what he did. And I I, I don't know if he's got questions or statements for me, but that like sort of like I I present that to him and thank him. And then I just sort of you can see that I, I, I look almost distracted when I flash back on that. Um. So yeah, when uh, you you show me the cloak, I'm all like, "Oh, thank you, Kale. That's 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 really nice." Uh, you know, for a pink skin, you're not half bad. I mean, I I know we haven't always exactly gotten along. I mean, you're not the worst for sure, um, but. I don't know. Back when, uh, uh, back back when the the captain first uh, had me on, uh, I, I I I I couldn't quite tell where uh, where where you stood. It seemed like, you know, maybe you were giving me a chance, but then maybe, uh, uh. I, I think there was a couple of orders you gave there that, you know, that, that could have gone kind of, uh, were, were uh, you know, a little bit uh, risky. I like risk. Risk is fun. <laughs> but, uh, you know, just between you and me, I, I, I'm curious, were you trying to, uh, uh, you know, throw me into something that would get me killed or was it just, you know, how these things go? Uh, and so for most of that is I'm still reflecting on the, uh, the past there. And so I, I don't really catch all of it. I miss the sort of almost like slight, uh, well, slights, I guess. Um, <laughs> and, uh, I, I sort of come back in right, right as you're asking that. And, and I say, well, of course not. We just needed to, you know, test our pilot, make sure he's, you know, worth his weight never meant for uh, any harm to come to you. Of course, of course. I believe you. <laughs> Does he? <laughs> uh... Anyway, I, I just wanted to say good job, and I'll, I'll extend my hand for a, a handshake, which, thinking about it, I, I don't know if, like, as I go to do it, I realize, I, I don't know if that's something goblins do, but I, you know, I don't say that, of course. I just sort of wait for... Um, so yeah, I'll consider it. Uh, uh, consider your hand for a moment, then then me all. Yeah, yeah, of course. Put her there. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, and you know what? I will. 
definitely tell the rest of the crew not to murder you in your sleep. You can count on that. <laughs> um... I, I sort of... I take his hand I'm worried. And I'm and worried now. <laughs> I, I take his hand and I shake it and I say, oh, I was never worried about that. I've already been giving some of them their sandwiches. That, that is the, the uh, fastest way to a goblin's heart through the stomach. What they all say, right? Uh, is that what they say? Always the blade through the chest. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, they say all sorts of things, don't they? <laughs> but yeah, and then um, I would just after that, like, if, if he has more questions or statements for me, then, you know, I would turn around and, you know, address those, but otherwise I would just turn and walk, uh, and probably just sort of hang out, uh, near the captain, maybe discuss plans for how we're going to get to, get to, uh, Uriah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the, the captain is definitely, like, you can tell that, you can tell that he's concerned about this. Like he hasn't spent a lot of time like in the remnants himself, not in a long time at least, and definitely not navigating a ship of this size. Yeah. Yeah, especially going up against pirates. Yeah. So he he's concerned, but with the, with the with the whole new crew and everything, I think you get a sense that he is is just. Resigned to his fate at this point. Like, yeah. What whatever's gonna happen will happen. However, however this this will shake out, it'll just it'll shake out. It's like he's been dragged along by a group of PCs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They keep telling him it's in short, but it doesn't quite feel that way. <laughs> Yeah, so I, so I would go in there and I would, uh, I guess I would probably notice he, I imagine he seems a bit uh, distracted, perhaps. Or uh, at least, you know, reflecting on something, I imagine. Mm -hmm. And um, I would come in, I'd, I'd say, Captain, uh, um, let's see, uh, You've you've taken us a great many places where many others would have failed. Uh, I, I can s I imagine you're you're probably a little worried about this as am I, but I, I believe that with our new crew uh, we'll be able to get through this and find Uriah. Yeah, he, he sighs. He looks out the window. Yes. Oh, we'll, we'll we'll find him or. Uh, he'll he'll find us, I'm sure. Hmm. I'm sure he's tracked down ships like these more than a few times. Nah, not then... exactly hard to miss. <laughs> no, no, I, I I guess not. He says he he just sort of trails off and says he he looks out the window for a moment, like the just into like, into the remnants. He says. Have you ever been in love, Kale? <laughs> uh, I, I just look at him and... Uh... You, you get the sense that he's, he's a bit drunk as well. Oh, sure. sure. <laughs> While this is happening. I just look at him and I'm like, well, I, I love lots of things. Uh, like I, I love coins, for example, and uh, imperial mustard. I mean, who, who doesn't love imperial mustard? <laughs> Good stuff, right there. But you know, you know what I'm talking about, don't you? You've been uh, been with me for a while, and that, I mean, you you seem like a seem like a decent decent young man. Why haven't you found yourself somebody? Why are you still here? <laughs> well, I guess. Uh... You know, I've still got some good years left on me. I'm uh, still fairly young, and the uh, the promise of coin and a good adventure is one of the things I look to the most. Uh, 
alongside serving a, a good captain, obviously. Um, but I, I think I do know what you mean. I, I have noticed uh, the stray glance from time to time at uh, Lady Blackbird. Mm. She, she's she's a she's a good woman, girl. Better than better than most I've met. You can tell that. I mean, she might not look it or act it, but I think like she cares, you know, like about people. But she, the, she does seem to world. care. I mean, I don't think you'd come out here if you didn't care about people, you know, even <laughs> if it's for someone that you care about, you know, know how it is. And he kind of like slumps back in his chair. Yeah, I, I, I know what you mean. Uh, I, I definitely, I picked up on that myself, and I just sort of like nod. Yeah, I, I'm definitely not there. But if I was, if I was, I'd say, you're right, Captain. She, uh, uh, definitely doesn't act it. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how Snuggo got a blue eye. <laughs> 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 uh, I'll, I'll sort of yeah. uh, try and shift his attention from Lady Blackbird to back to uh, Uriah and how um, how exactly we're going to navigate through the remnants to find him. Mm. Yeah, I think at, at that point, like we get this like pause moment. Mm. I think maybe he turns to to face the window again and says, "Well." Looks like, looks like that's gonna solve itself. <laughs> yeah, that's you. The, the ship makes makes like a turn around this particular world shard, and we we've come face to face with this massive, massive shard that is just it's shaped like a skull, because of course it is. <laughs> yeah. Why not? Yeah. What else? And in front of it, we see an. Absolutely, like massive pirate fleet, and I think like, at, at this point, like I think you, everyone who lives out here knows like Flint's particular like spin on the on the Jolly Roger. Like I think everyone like has their their take on it, uh, like a, like as a, as a personal seal almost. And yeah, yeah, you you what found where. It? I think it's, I think it's the the skull. I think it's like orange, like a like okay. bright brightish orange, and it's a pair of a pair of hands rather than crossbones. Okay. Just okay. One hand on either side. The the skull looking remarkably frightened. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, we come face to face with this pirate fleet. Hmm. What do you all do? As everyone I'm... is refreshed and ready to go. Um, this is I... not Naomi's responsibility. <laughs> I throw the blanket off and hurry to the bridge. Mm -hmm. It's like the first, probably the first time you've actually seen her run. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I thought. Is she still elegant? Uh, probably, yeah, but in a different way. Mm -hmm. She she also stopped wearing, um, what is it, uh, dresses, mm -hmm. like, af after the thing with the lightning. Mm -hmm. Just, like, trousers and the, uh, like, corsety, whatever the hell people yeah, wear. Like a shirt and, like, a, a jacket on top of that. Yeah. Cool. Just, and like, the... still all in black and silver, because, of course. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course. The girl looks the part. Um. So, yeah. How how do you how do you approach this? Yeah, I, I I think I think the, I think they've seen you. Right? They haven't Possibly quite asked yes. us yet. Are we are we the biggest ship here? I think so. Yes. But we are but definitely not, not, outnumbered and yeah. out. And, and, and you're not like much larger than, than the biggest ship. Yeah. 
but you're definitely bigger. Right. So, uh, uh think... that's a lot of ships, Captain. Um, you think maybe we should signal them? Uh, and... I don't know, say something... Maybe not too insulting. Yeah, I was gonna head Probably to the... the best. Uh, I was gonna head to the bridge and, uh... Mm-hmm. Figure out exactly how to work the signaling system. Mm-hmm. Um, to be able to contact the other ships. Um, now, what kind of system does the ship have? Like, does it have, like, um, video capability, or...? Probably probably not video, especially because we're talking to pirate ships. Gas lights and mirrors. They don't, they definitely don't have video, but I think you have, like, speakers. Sure. Like speakers on the outside, you can just broadcast to. Yeah, we just shout at people. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's the Imperial All right, way. so uh, then I I will get that up and running and uh, pass Lady Blackbird the microphone. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um. Oh god, what does she say? Oh god, what does she say? <laughs> you don't have to give us like word by word. You can just give us the the um, essence of, of what she says. Be- before she starts talking, before she like pushes the button, there's like a like um, a difficult to gauge look to Naomi. She which she alone probably recognizes as like fearful. Just a little bit. All right. Yeah, um, I think I'm like, I'm like just there. I'm trying to be supportive, but I don't know what to say either. So I'm just there and by your side. Yeah, I think that's definitely helping. Uh, if you want yeah. to toss a die in her direction. Yeah, sure. and... Um... She starts talking, just like... Uh... God. Just... Like... Pirates of the Remnants. My name is... And she gives her actual, like, noble title. Mm-hmm. Um... It's like, and I am Serge of the Pirate King Uriah Flint. Mm-hmm. He will remember me of... A time in the past, and I do trust you to not shoot us out of the sky. Mm. Um, please, at least trust us for this little while until I can speak to him. Okay. Yeah. Uh, oh, and in terms of help, I'll make sure that the uh, that the, it's her speech is preceded by the the, the proper uh, uh, pirate hailing frequency. I, I have uh, signals and uh, uh, knowledge of pirates. Yeah, like, yeah. You, you know your shit. Does getting the system up and running uh, also kind of help? Yeah. Cool. For sure. The, and I think the the captain is very pointedly not helping in this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I imagine so. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, and I, now let me take a look at the. Um, okay, so key of the mission definitely. Yeah, for sure. Take a die from that. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, I I, I think you, you, you can actually. Like, see. Because I am like now embodying my noble thing. See, yeah. um, I you think I'm just say. going to use charm for this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that makes because sense. It's like charm, charisma, presence. Um, and I think that's it. So I'm at five, six stars yeah. all in all. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, I, I think what you're doing here, rather than like Kia at the Paragon, is that you're buying off Kia the Kia the Imposter. Because you're like you're shedding your 
your false identity. So that's six mm. and two help die, guys. Three, I think. I think all of them are helping. Yeah. Okay. All of them. Mm. So with the with the initial one, it's ten die. Yeah, I, th I think this is just difficult to three. That, yeah, yeah that's, nice. that's five. Yeah, for for sure. So let's see. Yeah, I think we're. Yeah, this is a, a good time. So I think what what we there, there's like an uncomfortably long moment of silence <laughs> af, after your message rings out. And then, the the speakers from like the the large ship come on. This this like uncomfortable ringing for a moment. This lady, lady Natasha of, of formerly of House Blackbird. This is Captain Uriah Flint. Welcome home. <laughs> she like clutches, whoops, mm -hmm. clutches one hand uh, to her chest and just like, oh. just like very emotional right now. Maybe there's a hint of tears in her eyes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. So I, I think with that, there's there's a, a, a smaller ship heading out. So you see, it, it, it drives up to the, the large ship, and then it heads towards the the back of the Black Rock to like come into the hangar. And yeah. mm -hmm. I, I think we just cut to the, all, all of us down there. Waiting, we see. The sh the sh that's the like sh a the banner, a banner in the background held by goblins. That's like the, the green tide greets Captain Uriah. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I don't know. Or have uh, may, I, I, maybe, yeah. 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 The, 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 I think there's definitely like another banner somewhere that just says "Death to Humans." I think it's, like, <laughs> yeah, away. yeah. I, I, I was thinking like the the order was to to say the Green Tide welcomes uh, uh, Captain Uriah, and uh, uh, what wound up being written was "Welcome Human Scum." <laughs> <laughs> it, Lovely. Maybe. Maybe Lady Blackbird doesn't even notice it because she's so nervous. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, I imagine yeah. she wouldn't. <laughs> yeah, uh, I think it's it's like it, it, it's it's the the banner is facing like the back, so she just sees like the back side of it. Yeah, <laughs> but she doesn't see it's, like the text itself. I, I think we don't like the camera doesn't for a while. Can until, we pull like, back? The, the, ship, yeah. the ship lands in front, and then <laughs> yeah, Captain Uriah Flynn steps out. He looks a lot older than you remember him, Natasha. But he still looks as charming as ever. The, the smile that you fell in love with so many years ago. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I think we just get this this tearful reunion. The mm. the the two lovers embrace. I think I think she's a little more like smooth than that. It's like as the two of them walk towards each other, she like gets that saunter back, that noble saunter. Mm -hmm. It's like stretches out her arms and says, mm -hmm. "Welcome to the Black Ro Black Rock, Captain Uriah." Mm -hmm. and then the two of them hug and kiss. Yeah. yeah. And we just see this scene of you two embracing, and then oh, about that. Welcome, human scum. <laughs> yes. yeah, it just, yeah, it just like, zooms out through the like, through through the back of the of the hangar. We just see the like, the open space behind as as like more and more the pirate ship starts like coming in to land, and yeah, we just see the the banner that just says "Welcome, human scum." <laughs> and, and I think when uh, uh, Lady Blackbird and uh, Uriah embrace, uh, Snoggle kind of goes. <laughs> yeah, and they're not even rubbing their noses together. What are they doing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Humans. Yeah. Naomi's definitely like looking at them and with mixed feelings. <laughs> yeah, 
the, the lady is going to be in a lot more trouble from here on out. For sure. And have a dangerous life ahead. So I think this is uh, as good as, as good as any of the time to to start wrapping up. So yeah. Yeah, okay. maybe we do just one final shot for everyone. Just to just to see where you end up. Where do, where do we see the formerly the crew of the owl mm. heading off to? For instance, what what's Naomi's position now that now that Lady Blackbird has been reunited with her love, and what's life like as a pirate queen out in the remnants? Yeah, I don't, I don't think that much changed for Naomi. She's like, she's still doing the bodyguard thing and still kind of secretly in love with Lady Blackbird, but not. Quite like she has this longing, but she doesn't. She's afraid to try to act on it because this is this whole thing has been about Lady Blackbird finding her lover, and so she's mm -hmm. she just she just stays there and she just like it doesn't get better in that sense of the way for her, just stays the same. Okay, maybe yeah, we then... see her like. Sometimes in a bar and then in a fighting pit. It's not mm. it's not like a tragic scene where oh no she's she's now a drunk or something. She's just <laughs> she just has she, more she has an outlet for her frustration even though it's not yeah, the most exactly. healthy one. Exactly, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Oh god. I, I was so tempted to like let that scene go down the romance path, but I was also looking at the time. <laughs> yeah. So um <laughs> I think that I would go and fetch a bottle or two of uh, the captain's favorite drink mm -hmm. and just uh, sort of in his, I'll, I'll go to his quarters and I'll, I'll, I'll look at him and I'll say, Captain, I, I know you were really hoping for a, a different end to the story with Lady Blackbird, but as they say, there are a million other fish in the sky. <laughs> I think, nice. Yes, they do say that. I think, I think yeah, that uh, common thing. I think that we can uh, probably drink to that adventure right. and making plans <laughs> to rescue the owl. I. I've got I'll to get sort of my ship back. Start drinking with the captain. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. Yeah, I think. I think you, you could, I, I do want to have. I want to have a scene with Snoggle. Okay. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's like one one of the like. Maybe in the hang hangar again, um, with like most of of this like of the people dispersed. Um, she, like, this is the first time she actually looks at Snuggle. She says, um, I was never quite convinced of your kind, to be honest. Uh -huh. You and your compatriots have done a lot for me in this effort, and I'm truly thankful for that. And she, like, gets down on one knee, and then, like, gently kisses the tip of Snuggle's nose. Uh, I, I, I think we have one of those uh, Disney moments where his, his uh, ears like perk up uh, and he, he actually uh, yeah uh, uh, and uh, uh, his cheeks don't go red but they go a very uh, you know a much paler shade of green mm -hmm. um Ah, shucks. You know, you're all right for, for, you know, all, all the, the, this 
noble thing. And I and I heard. I I mean, I wasn't there uh, about the the whole uh, uh, storm storm thing. I mean, the that that. Uh, during the, the the fight with the the, the mercenaries, um, so I, I you know I, I I think that 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 in itself went a long way towards uh, uh, the the crew uh, not uh, getting <laughs> well I, let, let's not let's not go there it's, it's, you know it's, it's, you know it's, it could have been ugly but it wasn't and. <laughs> I, I that was uh, uh, that was because of you. You you're uh, uh, you're all right. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> she just like Always. smiles gracefully at him and says nods and then says, "Well, I hope that one day I will be able to depend on the green tide again." <laughs> <laughs> Um, I just imagine like Lady Blackbird with like a sword being carried by goblins, overrunning like the Imperial homeworld. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think actually like as as you're having this conversation, Flint walks up like from from behind you. This actually, now that you mention it, I've I've been speaking with some of the goblins here and they. They seem to look up to you quite a fair bit, Snargle. Now, a ship of this size isn't going to crew itself. Well, we... luckily. <laughs> Indeed. It'd all be out of a job if that was the case. And speaking of which, how would you feel about joining the fleet? Could you use someone of your capabilities? Huh. Well, that depends. Uh... How, do, how do you feel about mustard? <laughs> oh! oh. <laughs> I like mustard. I, I'm a big fan, I gotta say. Uh, how do you... I, I, I've been speaking to uh, some of the, the, the crew as well. Go figure. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about uh, liberating Nightport? I do like the sound of that. I think we can do business. <laughs> Very good. Now, we shall celebrate. This is a joyous occasion after all. And he looks towards his lovely lady, gives a, a wink. Mustard grog for all! Hi. <laughs> she just like, <laughs> like ruffles her nose, like looks <laughs> questioningly at the Uriah. It's like, it's okay, yeah, it's mustard grog doing. was the thing you drank in that in in the mustard uh, mustard and intrigue. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I feel like it would be. Not again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Looks at you and like. Yeah, roll with goblin sometimes. <laughs> like, he doesn't say that, but that, that's what. The that, heck yeah, that's that's a well. universal sign for like you gotta roll with the goblin sometimes. <laughs> like, sometimes you still, like, like Uriah knows that to get like large groups of people to work together, and sometimes that means doing what the new people want to do. Yes, mustard growth. Yeah, and really, once you go so green, you never go back. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> okay, we can X-card that part. <laughs> yeah, actually, yeah, yeah. Why don't you go ahead and buy off that key of banter for me? It would work. Because <laughs> every, every, everyone grows that one of your comments is actually like the, the trigger for that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh... <laughs> 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 I like that buy-off. <laughs> it's a very good buy-off. Yeah, the, the key the key of Bento might be the best thing about this game, just hands down. Yeah, yeah, it's, awesome. it yeah. it's a good thing. 
Okay, and and yeah, with that, I think the I think that's that's it. I think we've we've reached the end. I think we have told all the stories that we that we have in so, us for yeah. this evening. So, uh, thank you so much for running, and uh, thanks to all of you for playing. This yeah, has been a wonderful trip. Yeah, uh, a lot of fun. Yeah, that's one thing I like about this game. You never, can never be quite sure where it's going to go. Yeah, it's it's <laughs> always a different story. Mm -hmm. Sometimes a much different story. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. This, this, see, the, the last time I played this, it, it ended up very differently. Ended up with a, a shootout at the tavern in Nightport, and lots of dead people. Mm. <laughs> so, but yeah, this, this was a lot of fun. A lot of things that I, I what, didn't think you could do with this game. Like, <laughs> an, an Imperial Cruiser. But here you go. Yeah, it's it's very interesting because like in the rules, the maximum like obstacle is five. Mm -hmm. Like you could theoretically go higher, but five is the maximum that's listed. So yeah. if we just all pour in our help and all like hit all the keys and then we can achieve like the most difficult things with that. So yeah. it's yeah. very interesting that mm -hmm. yeah. it, I, I definitely like like the moments that happen because of because of this whole system. Like the 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 sorcery fight against the yeah. the bounty hunter ships and getting off the getting off the hand of sorrow the first time and then getting back onto it with a lot more <laughs> Let's go back <laughs> yeah. and getting up for this ship. Now, like, uh, even when you're rolling for, like, difficulty 5 and you're rolling, like, 14 dice, there's still a decent chance for failure. And, like, just just hitting that mark is, like, Yeah, such a, a lot of times feeling. we're, like, like at 5, 6 successes just barely scraping by. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It makes yeah. the game a lot more exciting. Even though it seems like you should have better odds, like... To just narrowly make it like although you know. just saying we failed two rolls in this whole game yeah so um uh, was that i mean yeah also, but, also, uh, also, uh, me yeah, twice both of you, I, think. Yeah. I think it was rad both times yeah <laughs> yeah the i guess some people get out bad. And then, yeah yeah <laughs> yeah good cool. job yeah good job good old roll 20. Good role playing games Uh, so, uh, does anybody have any shout-outs? Um, just, just um, shout -out Logan, you, you stream, do you want to, uh, go ahead. uh, do you want to say a little bit about what, what you're up to lately? Uh, sure, yeah, so, um, thank you for inviting me, by the way. Um, you guys might have seen me here before on Brad's channel a couple times, or if you watch Encounter Roleplay, I've been on there quite a few times. Uh, but I do have my own channel at twitch.tv slash from the hollow. Um, unfortunately, I don't get to do as much of the role playing as I used to, but I'm currently streaming a friend's um, sort of mashup of D&D 3.5 and 5th edition um, in a horror-themed campaign that uh, we try to do every Tuesday. Um, and other than that, I stream when I can. Uh, I stream a variety of things. Right now, the game I've been playing is uh, Ukulele, um, which is uh, an entertaining game, and it's just pun after pun. So if you like puns, uh, if you like adorable little creatures, stop by and check it out. It's a lot of fun. Um, and thank you for having me, Brad. Oh, thank you. And uh, Cal for running the game. I hope yeah, I said like, that right. Close enough. <laughs> yeah, th thanks for yeah, thanks for, for playing and bringing a lot of life to Kale. <laughs> fun to see see that character is occupy the, like this space. It's, it's it, well, very... like I said earlier during the break, that that kind of character is the kind of character that I love to play and just mm -hmm. so much fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Glad to have all of you here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I guess I do have a shout-out, if I think about it. Mm -hmm. um, 
first of all, thanks for the game. It was a lot of fun, but uh, I do have it's tangentially related. I do admin a small forum roleplay community uh, called Varic, which I'll post in chat. Um, if you want, if someone wants to come by and check it out, that'd be great. If not, that's fine too. That's basically all for me. Cool. Cool. Thanks. I do nothing on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just call. I just was just brought in here by Umbra. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Well, very glad to have you. Yeah, thank you for joining us. Yeah. How how did how did you like Snaggle? <laughs> oh, I I had a great time. That that is. Yeah, he's he's a great awesome. character. Player. Yeah. 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 It would be fun to like do this game again sometime and just play different characters to see how. Oh. That's sad. <laughs> I think they saw you. <laughs> <laughs> that was my girlfriend, Veronica. Oh. Yeah, I'll 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 be interested. I I've been interested with playing this game multiple times with the same group, hmm. because each of the characters can be played so differently, even though they're yeah, very specific. Yeah. Also, just switching characters around would be mm -hmm. a very. I would I would like to play um, Lady Blackbird again. And a cat! No. Oh. Yep. Hitting all the triggers! You just got yeah. this internet thing nailed down, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The key of the Twitch. Definitely. Key of Twitch. I just gotta, <laughs> just gotta find time, because normally I have a game on Wednesdays. Mm -hmm. But it fell through, thankfully, actually, mm -hmm. so I could play this. Yeah. It's fun. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. As for for myself, mm -hmm. now that my, my schedule's a bit more stable, I've got the, at least the, the next few weeks work out, worked out. So I'm gonna try and stream it stream again a bit tomorrow. I'm gonna pick up where I left off with Persona 3. Just an interesting first session with it, I'm gonna, and enjoy digging a bit deeper into it. But outside of that, you can. Find me here normally, where we we where we we've been playing Burning Wheel for a while, and we're in the process of shifting to something else. This has been a bit of like a a, a prequel to what we're going to be doing, which is p playing a Blades campaign in in this setting. That so we're like taking off from here and doing Sky Pirate stuff. Oh, nice. So so. Yeah. Keep an eye on this channel, and then on Saturday, we'll hopefully, barring any massive tech heresy like last week, I'll be playing over on, on Kelsey's channel. Kelsey is a, a normal regular here with the Fated Worlds crew. We're going to be playing some fire runs where my character died last week. Oh no! So that's <laughs> that, so that's going oh, to be fun. Actually... So that's that Friday. Yeah, so that's no, it's Saturday at 7 p.m. Central, Central European time, which is 10, 10 a.m. Pacific and 1 p.m. Eastern. Mm -hmm. I think if my math works out. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so feel free to feel free to stop by then. But that's me. Thanks for watching, everyone. And have, have a pleasant rest of your evening. Yeah. So, um, thank you. Uh, so uh, yeah, I'm totally looking forward to uh, uh, Blue Sky Vendetta, the uh, uh, campaign that's going to be, uh, I guess, uh, using uh, blades or, uh, or, or maybe with sub, some some tweaks. Yeah, I've, uh, yeah, I've been looking at ha hacking it a bit to to fit the this style of play a bit more. But we're definitely using blades as a framework. Awesome. And going from there. Uh, so, uh, uh, you can find me here, or uh, at, uh, 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 all my stuff is archived at uh, youtube.com slash c slash rpglory. Um, 
I'll be back on uh, Saturday for uh, uh, Hacking Infinity, where I continue to work on uh, a uh, Power by the Apocalypse uh, game that is uh, set in the uh, far future on an epic scale with transhumanist elements. Um, and then on uh, Sunday at uh, oh, uh, at 4 p.m. Bo- both days, it's uh, 4 p.m. Pacific. Uh, uh, on Sunday, uh, I you know, will probably just be playing some uh, some video game. Uh, it, it's kind of what? up in the air. But I'll be here. Video games on the internet. Yes, yes, it's crazy. Revolutionary. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so, uh, thanks again, everybody. Uh, if you enjoyed this broadcast, please do, uh, like, subscribe, uh, share, all that stuff. I would very much appreciate it. Have a good one. Yes.